City Louisville is the rallying point for a group of veterans from across seven different states. All were stationed at a marine base in North Carolina linked to having contaminated water. WHS 11's Ford Sanders is sharing what these veterans are looking for and how they are doing today. Can't give up. We didn't ask for this. The fight continues. Veterans coming together explaining the different illnesses they've come down with and seen. I have congestive heart failure, end stage renal, hyperaldosterism. It dates back from August of 1953 to December of 1987. The government found those stationed at the Camp Lejeune Marine Base in North Carolina were exposed to contamination in the water system. We were consuming that through all of our water drinking, through your meals, through your coffee. Um, you took showers in it. Advocates now refer to themselves as survivors from the contamination, but not all were left unharmed. The toxic water, the chemicals, it's ruined our lives as we know. Crystal Dickens was stationed in the area from 1978 to 1986. She says she's tried to get help, but hasn't had much luck. The VA has denied me seven times, and I'm actually a veteran service officer working at the VA at the time. And when it comes to the Veterans Affairs Office, what do they have to say about these veterans and their claims? Representatives tell us as of February 15th, 2022, they've seen 84,227 claims related to the Camp Lejeune contaminated water. Veterans saying that when it comes to getting compensation, they feel it's almost impossible. No matter what state you live in, if you file a claim uh, with Camp Lejeune, it automatically comes here to the VA regional office here in Louisville, Kentucky. It is a battle. Um, if you file a claim with Camp Lejeune, you got a 5% chance of getting any kind of compensation as far as a veteran. Saying they just want people to be aware. I gave up, but I'm going back at it again. In Louisville, Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.